I watched all these vlogs and videos of people decluttering their homes and they made it look so relaxing, but in reality, it was super, super stressful, okay? 10 out of 10, do not recommend. Usually when I'm doing my vlogs, I like to be present in the video as far as speaking, but these are a bunch of clips that I just kind of put together over time with me putting my Ikea draws together and me just figuring out what I wanted to keep versus what I didn't want to keep anymore. And it was just so stressful, you all. Like, there was no way I could do this in two days. So it took me a total of like, I'm going to say a month. <laughs> and I just needed to be focused and if I would have talked throughout this video this video would have been at least 24 hours long so this voiceover I hope you guys like it because I'm actually feeling the vibe of this I'm actually I might do more like this I'm actually liking it okay so I really wanted to cover up the cords because unlike my last apartment this apartment I didn't put the cord behind the wall 
just because I felt like I just there, there are other alternatives out there, especially if you're renting and you don't want to make too much damage to the walls. So I bought this cord cover thing from Amazon and I mean, it would have been amazing if I just did it properly and actually read the instructions versus guessing. So as you can see right here, I kind of realized like I really messed up. <laughs> so I am gonna have to figure this out and take it off the wall and repaint the wall and then put this in the middle. Don't be like me, read the instructions. Every time I thought I was like nearing, like getting close to being done cleaning, there was always a million things left every time I turned around. So, you know, I'm gonna give you guys the push and say you can do this if you're trying to declutter. I was really trying to declutter before my birthday, but baby, it is a lot of work. <laughs> Just make sure you have your drink, take your time, and take several days. Sunday guys so today I have a meetup I'm meeting up with Kayla on Instagram super excited about that still have my morning warriors today we're meeting up with Kayla Kay I feel like we've been Instagram friends for quite some time especially found her around I want to say either during the pandemic or a little bit before 
so she's gonna be in atlanta she came last night i would have hung out with her last night but uh i just got so cozy in bed and i was doing all this work so i was like all right we have brunch today for 12 45 super excited we're going to this place that my um other friend had introduced me to um they had really cute cocktails and i didn't know that they had brunch so um we were looking for a bunch of places finally settled on this place so it's really cute like, the cocktails are so cutely decorated and the food's actually good so it's a thai spot i don't know if the breakfast is thai inspired or if the breakfast is like its own thing but it is a thai a thai place so kind of focus on waking up really early um i do have to go ahead and install my wig so i had her drying over here if you were wondering why she's just standing there just like eavesdropping in on the conversation hey girl this is my wig from hair vivi it's supposed to be a wavy look um i didn't finish the video so i will be finishing part two of this video today so that you know i could finish that and upload that but this is the dress i'm wearing it's like a cute silk dress i did steam it so it's like it left like some kind of weird mark on it but it's a cute black zara dress like a wrap dress now this i'll link below for you guys and i got this one in a size medium but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and shower get some coffee walk my dog then do my wig. Let's do it. Alright y'all, so now I'm about to wash my mustache. I mean wash. Wow. <laughs> wax my mustache because before I forget, let me put my damn deodorant on. Alright, so this thing smells so good. It's dove. Vanilla, vanilla and cocoa butter but I need to wax my mustache because it is growing at full force. But you know what? I usually don't have to wax it. All right, I'm testing out, I'm testing out two different waxing kits. So this one I've used before, I feel like waxing strips, kits, whatever, usually work really well the first time. I feel like the second, third, and fourth time, it slowly stops working. It slowly stops picking up any hair or anything. So look, so I got this one from CVS. And guys, ignore my nails. I'm due for another appointment. This one is the one that I've been I use, and it's pretty good. But I also use this other brand from Target, which I can't find right now, so I'm not gonna even go on a witch hunt to go look for it. But basically, it comes as one strip. You peel it apart, and yeah, you want to use both. So you just you put it on. My hair grows from my hair to right here, and you want to get rid of what so. Okay, and then you want to, all right, you want to just smooth it in the opposite direction in which it grows. Wait, is that how you do it? I think you do it this, I don't even remember. And then you pull, now this hurts. <sighs> okay, did pretty good. I don't know who wants to see this. We can see like all the hair. I'm gonna do this side and then the middle. Pull. I don't know how people give themselves their own bikini wax because this right here is freaking torture. <sighs> okay. Now I'm gonna focus on the middle. I'm gonna use the same strip. This one always gets me. So do I pull up or do I pull? Oh, shit. But my hair grows dead. If you're a waxer and know how to do this, write it in the comments because your girl's confused. This one left residue, but okay. And then they give you some some common wipes, which is actually the last of the pack. So I don't know what I'm gonna use for the next couple of strips, cause they give you quite a lot of strips. So they give you enough for like five uses. Ah, oh, baby smoke. This looks so good. This looks really fucking good. You know what? I feel like whenever I, sh I wax or shake my top lip, it always looks like I'm missing my top lip. Like, it just goes like, it goes like that all of a sudden. So it's really hard for me to get used to it, but that's nothing that some lip liner cannot fix. Oh my God, guys, look at this robe. It's so warm and fuzzy and furry. I got it from Target. I'm gonna link it down below for you guys. I got it from Target. Anyways, let me go finish getting ready because it is nine o'clock now. And I need to put my wig on, walk my dog, drink my coffee. And good thing I know what I'm wearing. That helps.
9 37 i'm gonna go ahead and go downstairs and walk my dog and yeah i'll do my makeup and stuff when i come back up but my hair came out good This guy spiked me on Hinge yesterday. He spiked you? Spiked me. Oh. On Hinge. Why? His pickup line. This is me. Badder than a three-year-old child in Walmart. I'm like, who says that? This other guy spiked me. He was a white guy, but he was too focused on yoga. But his whole talk about yoga, he didn't even ask about me. He was caring about yoga. I was like, next. I liked him. Like, I really feel like my dream guy is supposed to be a lawyer or an attorney. But I just don't want a content creator. I don't. You guys, I just recorded my whole hair tutorial and I was trying to clean up my memory card and I think I deleted the footage <sighs> that I actually need. <laughs> I'm not re-recording that video, so I'm gonna have to imprompt, imprompt, improvise, because <laughs> I'm not re-recording that. So we're both wearing black, so that's good. She said she's wearing the black pants with a cute little top. But I like this because I think it hides my stomach. So it's kind of like, this was gonna be one of my birthday dresses. I was like, I don't like sucking in, but luckily I looked really slim that day, so it worked out. All right, so I'm gonna be using this perfume that my aunt got me for my birthday. It smells so good, especially when you let it sit into your skin. And I'm rushing because I was on the phone with my friends, so I let that dry. Um, Ka, and I forgot that the time was going. So now it's 12.03. Actually, let me see how long it's gonna take to get there. Like, we've been talking via Instagram for forever. <laughs> forever. And I finally Welcome met on. her. Literally, been, we have been like two minutes from each other. Oh my god. And literally, we moved here. Yeah. And left me behind. Right? Yeah. Oh, you moved here. Mm -hmm. oh. I, this is my first time meeting her, like, in person. <laughs> literally, we lived close. Yeah. And never met. Yeah. Never. But and always, always chatting. Like, always. Yeah, like, that's the same yeah, thing. Always. Like, and I be going on like my little like hiatuses. So I'm always like, she's probably like, this girl gone and come back, gone and come back. That's but me. no, I'm not even mad at it. I'm looking so they good. But I'm so happy to finally meet you and now meet you. <laughs> so I'm like, let me vlog today. I haven't vlogged in a while, so here we are. Brunch was great, um, super full. <laughs> now we're going to a lounge, and then after that, I'm gonna go meet up with um, my aunt and Zasia and Amarni because it's his birthday today, aka my little cousin. Um, so I'm gonna spend, I have until six down here, it's 5 14, and then I'm gonna start making my way back to where we live. I didn't realize how short I was. I'm really a short girl. I didn't realize that until I took my pictures and I'm like, wow, I look so puny. <laughs> I don't think I can vlog. We're going to Visions now. Uh, we really wanted to do hookah and stuff, so we're waiting for everybody to come. But I, <laughs> I feel like I'm so dressed up. I feel like I should have really worn my other outfit, but it's okay, you know. Not a bad thing to be overdressed, so.